a little easy five minute routine that you can do in the morning to help get your body up and moving so you're feeling great for your day. So what I want you to do is start on all fours. We're gonna come into a nice easy flat back position. We're just gonna start with some cat and cow stretches. So as you breathe in, arch your back and look up towards the sky and as you exhale, round that back. And we'll just take a few rounds of this breathing in and out, in and out. I love how this makes my spine feel in the morning. Just getting everything nice and loose. Then I like to take a few breaths as I hold each position. So right now I'm in my cat stretch. I'm going to take a few breaths here. And then as I exhale, I'm going to go into my cow stretch and arch all the way up towards the sky. Take a few breaths here. Let everything sink nice and low. And I'm going to find my way back to a neutral spine, and I'm going to open up my solar plexus and do some twists using my arms. So I'm going to start, and I'm just going to look up and look towards the ceiling and look towards that hand and replace it up and down, lift up and down, up and down. We'll continue with this for a few cycles. And make sure you're breathing. Breathing is so important. It's going to help those muscles. Get lots of oxygen flowing and getting some nice blood going to all the muscles. Get some oxygen to your brain. Wake yourself up for a beautiful day. Nice. And then we're going to come back to our neutral position. I'm going to take a deep breath in, and as I exhale, I'm going to bring my knee in towards my nose, and I'm going to round my back. And then as I inhale, I'm going to kick up, and then exhale and come back to my start position. So we're going to do this a few times on each side. I like to do somewhere between 8 and 16 rounds on each side. So I know I'm getting a nice, quick and easy workout in the morning, getting some blood flowing loosening up the body. Like I said before, it's really important to use your breath on all of these exercises. And we'll go ahead and we'll switch to the other side. I want to stay nice and even, so I take a deep breath in. As I exhale, I bring that knee in towards my nose, round my back, and then inhale and up. From there, I'm just going to tuck my toes under and push up into a downward dog position. I'm going to walk my hands out a little bit too. I'm going to have a nice wide downward dog position. Make sure my feet are about hip width apart as well. I'm just going to walk my heels up and down, roll through the feet, get everything moving. And if this is the first time you're moving after you wake up, you are going to be a little stiff probably. So just take your time. Really, just let the body wake up. And then when you feel ready, go ahead and just try to press those heels down to the floor. If they don't touch, it's totally okay. And take a few deep breaths here and just hold. You want to feel like your shoulder blades are moving in towards your spine and coming together. Really press down through those hands and lift those hips all the way up to the sky. From here, I'm going to come into a plank position, and I'm just going to go through a few vinyasa flows. This just helps me get a little heat moving in my body, get the blood pumping a little bit, and uh, get all those muscles ready for a day. So come down to your chaturanga, lift up into my up dog, and then I come into my down dog. And 
really important that we're keeping our breath flow here. So I inhale as I come forward. I exhale as I come down. I inhale as I come up. And I exhale as I push back. I'm just going to walk my hands and feet together and just hang over in a nice ragdoll position. I like to grab my elbows here. I'll just sway from side to side. From here, I'm just going to drop down and sit. And I'm going to come into a nice, easy cross-legged position. We're just going to do some easy twists. We can get our spine all uh, woken up some more. So I'm going to take a deep inhale and as I exhale I'm going to twist over to the side. I'm using my hands in the back as a nice support. I want those fingertips touching the floor, keeping that spine straight. And as I exhale I'm going to get a little bit of a deeper twist. And then I'm going to come back up through center on an inhale, and then I'm going to exhale and twist over to the other side. We'll hold it for a couple breaths here. how I like to start my mornings. Just a little bit of exercise to get the some oxygen flowing, some blood pumping, and just getting those muscles ready for a fun day. So I hope you enjoy and I hope you find this helpful. Remember to um, like and subscribe to my pages on Facebook and Instagram at Aries in Flight and have a great day.